What's up everybody, Patrick here, welcome back. So we have another question to do with polynomial function. This is a communication type of question. So how many turning points can a quintic function have? Explain all possibilities and use diagrams. Well, if you remember when we talked about turning points in the lecture videos, turning points depend on the degree of the function. And a quintic function has a degree of what? Degree is 5. And the turning points depend on whether a function has an odd degree or an even degree. And a degree of 5 is an odd degree. So let's do a little review of what happens with turning points when you have an odd degree function. Well, the minimum number of turning points is zero, right? Because an odd degree function doesn't necessarily have to turn. A good example of that is a line. So a line has a degree of one, and it never has a turning point. Same thing with x cubed. So x cubed, the way it looks like, is like this. Notice how it doesn't have a turning point. So an odd degree function doesn't necessarily have to have a turning point, so it could have no turning points. What's the maximum number of turning points it can have? Well, n minus 1, or the degree minus 1. So a quintic function, the maximum number of turning points it can have is 5. Now, something I also want to mention uh, I may have not mentioned this uh, before, is that an odd degree function always has zero or an even number of turning points. While an even degree function is the opposite. So it would always have an odd number of turning points. And an even function, if you remember, it has a minimum turning point of 1. It always has to turn back. But the uh, maximum number of turning points is still that n minus 1. So going back to this odd degree, uh, the number of turning points is always 0 or an even number. Sorry, I didn't even finish this, of turning points. So with a degree of 5, what are the possibilities? Well, it can have 0 turning points or an even number. So 1 turning point, that's impossible, but it can have 2 turning points. 3 turning points is impossible. It can have 4 turning points. And 4 is the maximum because 4 represents the degree minus 1. So these are the three possibilities for an odd degree in terms of, or a uh, rather quintic function in terms of turning points. So how would examples of a quintic function look like in terms of graphs? Because remember we have to use diagrams for each of these three scenarios. So maybe something like x cubed, that would be maybe an example. Right? If the leading coefficient was positive of this quintic function, it goes from uh, quadrant 3 to quadrant 1. We'll actually assume that the leading coefficient is positive for all of these cases, but it could also be negative. So it could have went from quadrant 2 to quadrant 4. So you could have drew uh, maybe something like that as well. But either way, notice how both of these, there are no turning points. Okay, uh, what about turning point of or two turning points for a quintic function. So the way that might look is something like, let's say that. So notice how it turns here and it turns here. Two turning points and notice how the end behaviors, if we extend this a little bit, it's still from quadrant three to quadrant one. And then lastly, Four turning points, the way that can look like is um, perhaps something like that. Right? So one, two, three, four turning points, and it still has that end behavior from quadrant three to quadrant one. So those are the three cases 
for turning points that can happen for a quintic function, and we showed it with diagram.